We all want to become extremely wealthy at an early age, don't we? While it's true that money cannot buy happiness, it may certainly make your life much easier and more enjoyable. Year after year, the number of millionaires and billionaires rises. While others must work their way up from nothing, some are fortunate enough to inherit their parents' fortune directly. In today's video, we will look at five stunning cases of the youngest heirs who became billionaires overnight. So how wealthy can they be? And what are they currently doing? Without further ado, let's get started. Number 5. Katharina Andreessen, $1.3 billion Being young is a wonderful gift, and when combined with wealth, it can be an extraordinary experience. Just ask Katharina. According to Forbes, Katharina and her sister acquired their wealth in 2007 when their father, Johan Andreessen, gave them ownership of the family's investment firm, Ferd. They each own a 42% share in the 1849-founded business. It isn't easy to imagine becoming a billionaire when you are a teenager, but that is precisely what happened to a Norwegian girl who received an estimated $1.3 billion inheritance. According to the BBC, Ferd started as a business devoted to the tobacco industry in 1849 and rose to the top of the nation in that area. However, Ferd transformed into a real estate and private equity investment firm by reinventing the business. They currently have a stock value of around $3 billion. While it may be a surprise that Andreessen would give his young daughters most of the company, he probably did so to save on taxes. According to Forbes, the wealthy in Norway must pay a net wealth tax of around 1% of their net worth, but they can reduce this expense by sharing the money among family members. Number 4. Alexandra Andreessen $1.3 billion At just 25, she is one of the youngest billionaires in the world with an estimated net worth of around $1.3 billion. Similar to her sister Katharina, this champion equestrian athlete not only inherited wealth from the transfer of 42% of her father's investment firm, Ferd, but also demonstrates to be financially savvy. She appeared on Forbes' list of the world's millionaires when she was barely 19 years old. Can you imagine? Although reality TV star Kylie Jenner and her expanding cosmetics empire later claimed the title, Forbes nevertheless proclaimed her the youngest billionaire in the world at the time. On her interests, she is a talented and well-known professional horse rider who has won numerous international dressage competitions. Interestingly, she is modeled for Kingsland, a manufacturer of equestrian apparel. She began riding horses at the age of three when she first discovered her love of equestrian sports which she shares with her mother, Kristen. She has also been spotted at some of the most prestigious events in the world, including the Cannes Film Festival and the Met Gala. In addition to her passion for equestrian sports, Alexandra Andreessen's wealth has allowed her to indulge in various other luxury pursuits. She enjoys traveling the world, staying at some of the most exclusive hotels and resorts. She is also known for her love of fine dining and has been spotted at some of the world's most renowned restaurants. Alexandra Andreessen's lifestyle is not just about indulging in material possessions. While her wealth has given her the ability to live a life of luxury, Alexandra Andreessen is also using her resources to impact the world positively. She is a philanthropist and a supporter of various charitable causes. Her family's foundation, the Ferd Social Entrepreneurs, supports social entrepreneurs who work to make a positive impact in the world. Her passion for equestrian sports and support of charitable causes demonstrates that she is more than just a billionaire heiress. She is a driven and compassionate individual who is making a difference in the world. Number 3. Wang Zilong, $1.5 billion He inherited shares in the titanium oxide businesses CNNC, Hua Yuan Titanium and Loman Billions Group, making his net worth peak at around $1.5 billion. Loman Billions Group manufactures titanium oxide. While most people who made the list work in technology, Wong stands out from the group by working in the specialized field of pigment manufacture. The business manufactures titanium dioxide pigment, a white pigment used in coatings, plastics, and printing. It's worth noting that he originates from a region that may not be as prominent as others. His Forbes profile states that he comes from Xiaozhou, a city in the Henan province of China, which is 16 times bigger than Beijing, the capital of China but only holds 1 20th of Beijing's population. So far, Wang has kept a low profile despite being one of the wealthiest millennials in Asia, similar to other billionaires. He is a rather enigmatic figure, with limited information available about him. He keeps a low online profile, 
lacking a formal social media account or an online work biography. Nonetheless, his enormous wealth assures us that he will remain on Forbes' billionaire list for many years to come. Number 2. David Lehman – $2.4 billion He is one of the heirs to the DM Drogerie market fortune, living a life of luxury that most of us can only dream of. Most of his wealth is attributed to DM Drogery Market, a company that his father started in 1973. It's a German drugstore chain that has grown to become one of the largest in Europe. The company offers a wide range of products from cosmetics to food and has expanded to over 13 countries, with more than 3,500 stores worldwide. Today, DM Drogery Market is known for its wide range of high-quality products and commitment to sustainability. From the inheritance of DM Drogery Market, he is reported to be worth $2.4 billion, with most of his wealth attributed to his father's business ventures. He has served on the company's board of directors and has helped steer the company's strategic direction. Under his guidance, the company has expanded into new markets, including Eastern Europe and Asia, and has continued to innovate with new product offerings and services. Although he inherited a significant portion of his fortune, he has also played an active role in managing his wealth, investing in various ventures and assets. When it comes to his lifestyle, it's the epitome of luxury. His sprawling mansion is filled with extravagant decor, expensive art, and unique architecture. His garage is packed with exotic cars, from Lamborghinis to Ferraris. He travels the world in private jets and yachts, staying in lavish hotels and resorts. But despite his immense wealth, David Lehman is known for his philanthropic efforts. He has donated generously to various causes, including healthcare, education, and the arts. He is also a board member of the Geth Institute, a cultural institution that promotes German language and culture around the world. In addition to his inheritance, David Lehman is a successful businessman in his own right. He has invested in various ventures and has been associated with several investment firms over the years. Although he mostly keeps a low profile, he is well respected in the business world. Undeniably, David Lehman's triumph is evidence of the influence of inheritance, but it is also an outcome of his perseverance and commitment to his profession. He is an astute investor and a well-regarded personality in the corporate domain, and his guidance has played a crucial role in fostering the expansion of DM Drogerie Market. Number 1. Gustav Magnar Witzow – $4.5 billion It's fascinating how quickly things can change. According to Forbes, Gustav received a 47% interest in Salmar ASA as a gift from his father in 2013. At the time, the young model was only 19 years old. He is now among the youngest billionaires on the planet, holding a roughly 50% ownership stake in Salmar ASA, one of the major suppliers of the pink-hued fish. In 2013, his father Gustav Witzi, who founded Salmar in 1991, bestowed a portion of the Norway-based enterprise to him. Since then, the company has been at the forefront of Norway's push to industrialize fish farming, which is currently one of the biggest industries in the country. As per Forbes, Salmar harvested roughly 130,000 tons of salmon in 2016. The 28-year-old doesn't hesitate to talk about his humble origins or showcase his present accomplishments on social media. Despite possessing a net worth of $4.5 billion, he asserts that he is a regular person who is passionate about fitness. He lives an opulent lifestyle owning Porsches and Aston Martins. His pictures exhibit him traveling luxuriously around the globe, visiting destinations such as Dubai, Italy, and France. What would you do if you suddenly inherited billions of dollars? Would you splurge on luxurious vacations and material possessions? Or would you use your wealth to positively impact the world?